It looks like common sense isn't so common, because according to research, 90% of adults get these questions wrong. Okay, Yet kids I'll do see just one of those dumb adults. That's because grown-ups overcomplicate things while children use their common sense and don't overthink. So follow their lead uh, and let's start. Children have more common sense than adults? One. Which word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? You have 10 seconds to come up with the correct adjective. So are you! What's the word? Disabled? Person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand. Disabled. Injured? Disabled? You should just call this person normal. I don't know about you, <laughs> okay. but I have all 10 of my fingers divided onto two hands with five on each. Oh, I see. Okay. Why did you not read my mind? <laughs> you read your mind. Good for you. You got it right. You're adult. Either you're an adult or you have uh, or you have common sense. You want to try the question, Lenny? Why do I have to go back? So the question. Ninety percent of people oh. fail this common sense test. It looks like common sense isn't so common because, according to research, ninety percent of adults I can turn get this these to questions look like wrong. I, uh, and got kids answers, do just right. <laughs> That's because grown-ups overcomplicate oh, I wouldn't things do that. while children use their common sense and <clears> don't <throat> overthink. I don't mind so being wrong about stuff. And so let's okay. start. One. It's three Which eight, word would you use if you needed to describe a person who doesn't have all their fingers on one hand? You have ten seconds to come up with the correct adjective. <laughs> okay, it's definitely normal this time. I know that now. But okay, say if you don't have all your fingers, uh, say you, if you have all your fingers on one hand, aren't you still normal? Or that, that sounds like. Derogatory. Like you're saying something bad about somebody. Okay. You should just call this person normal. I don't know about you, but I have all ten of my fingers divided onto two hands with five on each. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Two. All right. We tested your Canada. anatomy. Yay. Now some geography. If a plane crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States, where mm -hmm. should they bury the survivors? Whoa, are you supposed to know international aviation laws or something? Well, take 10 seconds to figure it in out. the ground? They can, they're dead. I mean, burnt. Well, either they're mean. burnt or you bury them in the ground. Where Why would they else. bury the survivors? The yes, survivors. they find survivors' bones. Have you? They find survivors. Survivors it survived. Crashed. It, didn't, it crashed, first of all. Okay, that key. Survivors survived. They uh, can't bury them. Okay, explain yourself. <laughs> but if you didn't understand. Okay, this is a trick question. This is not common sense. They're tricking us. <laughs> I thought it was like, okay, bury them in the ground like you bury them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to edit out all the laughing. And... Okay, so, correct. You should have said they are survivors. You don't bury people who are still alive. Tell that to me. I didn't know what your question was. Okay, correct. I was wrong again. Canada, you I have no common sense so far. But are you 100% sure they he's tricking us too. If he would just be quiet and read the question without saying all, he's misleading us. He's like making you get the wrong answers. Okay. I would just ignore this guy and say. Why are you 100% sure should. they should bury their survivors? Uh, let me think about it. Hmm. Am I 100% sure? I was thinking cremation. Why? What are you talking about, Amuna? I didn't know what you were getting at. Three. Okay. How about this one? Imagine that you just entered a pitch black room. Okay. There's an oil lamp a newspaper, and some kindling wood inside the room. But you only have one match. You have to make a tough choice. What will you light first? The paper. The newspaper. Well, okay, just a second. What? What am I, why do I have to light anything? Can I just turn on the, the electricity? There's I no came into a dark room. Yet. Did he say there's no electricity? If he didn't mention it, means not there. What will you light first? Obviously, it's the match, guys. Common sense. Ding! I got one right. If we're not talking about electricity, okay. you're not lighting electricity. What? Okay, the light the match, is guys. Definitely a good choice, but See, still he's incorrect. trying to trick us. Okay, let people think about it for a minute. Need okay. to light the mat. Hey guys, don't listen to him. Okay. That's the problem. Yeah, I also thought about that. What? What did you think about? I thought, how are you gonna light the mat first? You light the match first, that is the point. Exactly, he said, but first, uh, anyhow. 
Mrs. Brownie, despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Pink? What? Where are the stairs? What color do I imagine the stairs are? I imagine I imagine the stairs are brown for some reason. I guess so if you're imagining it. It's just your imagination, isn't it? But now I'm imagining it as pink, right? Well, the skin color of its tile is that your question brown. again? Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely be pink, but bungalows just have one floor. Okay, no stairs. Uh, well, how do you know she doesn't have a basement, huh? Smarty pants. Maybe she has a, 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 a rooftop, you know, something. You never know. And she Are has you stairs recording? Yeah. It's needed. Okay, it's a bungalow. Whatever. Five. One day a man got caught in I'm the imagining if she has stairs, okay, that they would be pink. Since you asked me what I am imagining, I imagine back, that. I so I am correct no matter what he says, okay? And anybody else imagined something, then they are correct, even if she has a bungalow. You can imagine a bungalow with wings if you want, right? So I'm, I'm right. He's wrong. Unfortunately, he had no umbrella or hat or anything else he could use to stay dry. Don't Yet think that I'm getting a, a little bit angry here. <laughs> Go back. Okay. We didn't hear. Don't think that I'm getting a little bit angry here. We didn't hear. This. Okay. Go back. Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely be pink, but bungalows just have one floor. No you stairs asked us needed. what we imagine. See, that's the problem. The question was wrong. Okay. Me, I care because I'm answering logically or something. Five. One day, a man got caught in the pouring rain. Unfortunately, he had no umbrella or hat or anything else he could use to stay dry. Yet, not a single hair on his head got wet. How okay. so? He has He's bald. Any bald. Hair. Okay, we He's all got bald. that. Totally easy. Yes. Totally yeah, okay, at least I got The I, answer is so simple, you'll want to I think slap yourself right for so not far, thinking basically. of it. The man was bald. Right. Slide yourself for not thinking I'm of counting it. the you pink kidding? stairs and the I bald guy and the one I got right. I sharpened the knife yesterday. I think I got like three right. Where is he? Six. How can it be that every single person no, in a 50, plane 50. crash died, but two people survived? This is a straight up paradox, and you have only ten seconds to explain it. Because They're every single stairs. person, and then these people are two people? Is that it? They're two single people who are not married. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but two people survived. They're married. Oh, yeah. Every single person. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. You're probably wrong. But In a plane yeah. crash died, but two people survived. They're married, obviously. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm sorry. So what was I saying? I was imagining they were single for some reason. I don't know. My brain was turning the thing around. I don't remember what I said. But I the thing is that those two I was two just thinking that they're survivors, yeah. so they survived just like everybody else. I don't know. You know, every single person died. Okay, they're a married couple. Survivors were married. Every single person. Ah, I see what they that did there. That one wasn't that tricky, actually. It was not. They kind of... That one was easy. Seven. Yeah, it was Time easy. for a tricky one, so be very attentive. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? Okay, let me think about Your this. hands! So I'm, st I'm stopping. What do you sit on? You sit on your hand? Yeah! <laughs> I sleep on my hand. I sit on my hand. And brush your teeth with your hand? <laughs> Actually, I brush my teeth with a toothbrush. I'm going to paste. Wait. It's so obvious. You guys can't figure it out? Uh, your skin. Yeah, brush your skin. Your skin. <laughs> okay. You have skin on your butt. So <laughs> <levels>. <laughs> okay, be quiet. This is the fourth night of... Uh, Wait. Fourth, fourth day morning of Aid. This is the fourth morning. It's 3.26 a.m. What do you sleep on, sit on, and brush your teeth with? Uh, modern things that are made. Objects. Right, that, yeah, exactly. That's why I took the... Yeah, you said what I should have said. Okay, that's what I was saying. Modern things that are invented things, right? Okay. 